So in this video, I'm going to dig deeper into the browser that's built into the Echo Show 5. I'm going to show you what I could do in the browser, what I couldn't do natively on the device, plus some other things that I couldn't get working no matter what. Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So today I'm going to deep diver into the browser. As a matter of fact, I've been playing with the Firefox browser and the Silk browser. And to tell you the truth, the Silk browser has more feature and seems to be a better browser than the Firefox on this device. So I'm going to show you some things that you can do with the Silk browser. Okay, so let's start up the Silk browser. And you know, to start it up, you'd have to tell her to start the app. Start the Silk app. Here is Silk. So now that you start up the Silk browser, of course, you know it can access YouTube because there's no native YouTube app. But you can always go through the browser and start it up. To get into the YouTube mobile site, I can actually search for a video. So now that I steered you to my channel so you can see one of the videos that I want to promote, that uh, I can just go through and find one of those videos. And there's one of my latest videos I did that you can just click hey, on and I start playing. Today. So I want to cover a feature of WhatsApp that you probably don't know about. You can actually save the now, now that the video is playing, you can see that you have all the videos on the side that you can watch. But say you want to watch this video full screen, you can just click the full screen button and it fills up the screen. Text messages into a text file that you can print out and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Okay, so this process is fairly simple. The first thing you want to do is find that person who you're texting with. You want to so as you can see you can watch youtube video even though you don't have a native youtube app all you have to do is just do it through the silk browser so not only youtube you can access you got other sites that you can access to that plays videos that's probably not on youtube so on this website called natural vibes they have live djs playing every single day you can actually watch the live show on this echo show so there it is. There's the DJ playing on an Echo device. And if you stroll down, there's a live chat room where you can interact with other listeners. Now, like I said, this website is not something where you can access to YouTube. It's a personal website and they do live DJing. But now you can actually listen to it on your Echo device. You just call up the Silk browser and there it is right in front of your face. So if you have any particular site that you listen to, you know, maybe a blog or live stuff that you watch online and it's not available to YouTube, then you can still access that website and access those videos through this Silk browser, which is what I recommend. Now, Firefox works too, but I kind of favor the Silk browser over the Firefox because I've been toying with both of them and it seems like that one is a little bit better to me. So then I try to push the limit by see if I can access Netflix through the browser. Because like I said, there's no native app for Netflix, but I know you can access Netflix to your web browser. So I was able to sign in, but beyond that, you cannot do anything. Because if I try to play this video, I get this message to tell me that watch Netflix on your phone and tablet by getting the app. Of course, you can't download any apps on this thing because it's going to take me to the Google Play Store. And then I can't install this right here because this is not an Android device where I can install apps. So if I try to install it, it's going to give me an error message. Trust me, I've tried. So Netflix, you can sign in and you can browse, but beyond that, you can't play any of these videos. So that's where you come to the end of the road as far as Netflix. So I decided to push the limit a little bit further again by trying to access Pluto TV. So I put it into the browser, I hit the link, I waited, and next thing you know, Pluto loaded up. It's playing in the browser, so it works. So you can see Pluto is actually playing. So I can make it full screen by hitting the little full screen icon right there, and it's gonna fill up the screen as much as possible. A lot of these videos that I see when you make them full screen doesn't play at full screen. There's always black bars on each side, the left and the right, but it's full enough to where you can see a better picture. Now, if you want to bring up the guide, you know, you got to hit that yellow icon right here in the corner, which brings up the guide that you can actually stroll through and find something else to watch. Click on it 
wait for it to load it's not as fast as it is like on your fire stick now once you start a pluto tv it tends to take over the entire screen so you don't see the menu bar and you can swipe down and go home but you can't get out the silk browser that easy so to get out the best thing to do is to make this full screen and then tap it one time where you see it shows url bar and then there you go so now you can get out of it and you can go back to the actual home screen of silk like that you can see where you can see your bookmarks again it's hard to get out of it so be careful when you start it up and it doesn't run silky smooth there's a point where it's hiccuping and uh, guess the processor that's installed inside of it is trying to keep up with the encoding of the video and all that stuff so you might get a little hiccup every now and then while you're watching Pluto TV but it works okay so those are the ones that I've tried and I know there's some other ones out there that I haven't tried it like Hulu and PlayStation view but I'm gonna leave those up to you since I don't have an account with those services to see if they work so if you have any of those services or any other services leave it in the comment and let me know if it works or if it don't work and i did get my echo show 5 in so i have the bigger screen now and i will be doing some upcoming videos soon to see how much more information to get on screen on the echo show versus the echo show 5. all right so i want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video i look forward to see you next time have a good one